Natalie and Catherine, thank you so much. That was so inspiring. I'd also like to thank my family and friends. I could not have made it without you this far. So I'd like to ask you this question. Have you ever considered the simple act of saying yes? Not a sure or a why not, but an emphatic yes. One of those yeses where you're held accountable the minute that word leaves your mouth. There are four significant yeses that changed my life and brought me to this moment today. The first one came in 2008 when I was asked to help lead a youth group in Western Kentucky. That meant leaving my beloved Austin, Texas, a little over a thousand miles away and relocating. And I don't care how you look at it, that is a huge sacrifice and a big commitment. But it was on my very first Wednesday night there that I met a girl named Courtney Lutz. She was graduating that fall, and we had a quick friendship that followed, and we often shared excitement of how she was moving to Nashville to attend Belmont. I encouraged her and was so excited to see her flourish as she moved that fall. As Courtney began her time at Belmont, it was shortly thereafter that the second significant yes came into my life, and it was as I found myself pursuing my dream to visit Africa. I was on my way to stay at a children's home and attend a mission school in Mozambique. And it was there at the Mercy 29 children's home that I realized that something bigger than me hinged on my willingness to say yes. Mercy 29 is a nonprofit organization whose purpose is to show the love of Christ in practical ways such as feeding, clothing, educating, and providing medical attention to orphans and widows in Africa and India. Simply taken from the scripture Job 29, 15 through 17, I was the eyes to the blind and feet to the lame. I was the father to the needy, and I took up the case of the stranger. I had no idea that my yes physically looked like becoming this scripture. Sometimes it looks like a simple meal of rice and beans, or sometimes it looks like giving someone your shoes. Or it could actually look like spending every day with a three-year-old little boy named Luis, giving him presents, feeding him, holding him, but hardly ever hearing him speak. And then one day, he simply, in the dirt as we were playing, drew a heart in the dirt, and he pointed at it, and then he pointed to me. I will never regret saying yes to Africa. And after returning to the States, my third yes came when Courtney, my friend Courtney, invited the founder of Mercy 29, Lyle Phillips, and myself to come and speak to her fellow students at the Honors House. I was able to share with a few of the students about my experiences with the poor in Africa, and it was encouraging to see a common cry in our hearts for the impoverished of the world. I was so moved by their willingness to see the world changed. I left that day feeling like I had been on a campus where compassion could be channeled into change, and I so wanted to be a part of it. Mercy 29 began in 2009 with only 13 children, and in early 2010, I joined the team. Shortly thereafter, Mercy 29 expanded its efforts into rescuing and raising children exploited in child slavery. <clears throat> and daily, children began added to the family, and just as that need grew, so did the need for better resources and training and tools to help raise funds for the, to take care of the children. And for those of you who've been counting, that fourth and final yes came when Belmont said yes to me. I fully immersed myself in my studies because I had encountered a place that helped make things happen, and not just for its students, but for humanity. While attending Belmont, I have learned valuable tools to better serve Mercy 29, such as strategic fundraising strategies, how to effectively communicate who and what we are as an organization, how to prepare and execute presentations to donors. 
It's amazing how doing the most ordinary things, like Twitter research, can become extraordinary when you do them with the right people. What has been the most inspiring is working alongside my fellow students who have volunteered to help Mercy 29 despite never stepping foot in one of our homes or ever holding one of our children. For example, Courtney, who happens to be sitting in her cap and gown out there today, <laughs> um, and a team from the Project Lead program from the Honors House. They created an entire marketing plan to better reach the young adult market. They dedicated over nine months of their time to create this detailed resource so that we can raise funds to feed more children. This is the power of what one simple yes can do, and I admonish you to say yes to things that are bigger than you are. And I can guarantee you will not forget, you will not regret it at all. And so I am so honored to be a part of this community, and not only do I say thank you, but on behalf of Mercy 29, our current 1,600 children, and the thousands of yet-to-be-rescued children, we say thank you. Thank you.